and she has not showed up. The other up. lady had three chances. This lady had two. Well, good morning, family. Feels good to be up this morning. I mean, why wouldn't I be? <laughs> but it does feel good that I was able to actually get a vlog out. Ay, 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 it's been tough. Hopefully that will be remedied very soon as I think we've got the computer figured out. But it's been a, um, it's been, it's been a little tough going with having a computer that doesn't work. Anyway, speaking of work, that's where I'm going. Hello there. We're obviously in the office. We just got done praying for today, discussing what we're going to do about all the major issues that are before us, which there aren't a whole ton, but actually we've got a big thing coming up. Downstairs, we have a boiler. And the boiler runs the heater system here in the, ch in the church office. And apparently a uh, pipe in the concrete on the bottom floor where Colby and Cassidy live has burst and it started leaking into the floor. <sighs> Big bummer. So we're gonna be trying to figure out exactly what we're gonna be doing about that, how much work we're gonna do in-house, how much work we're gonna outsource to people and whether or not it's gonna be covered by insurance, all those wonderful things. Insurance will probably be like, oh, that's flood damage. We don't cover that. <laughs> We'll find out. We have good insurance, actually, so I don't mean to talk bad about them. Yeah, but this morning, first thing on my plate, and hopefully I get it done today, is to finish reorganizing my room. The Andy Leper left a comment and said, hey, did you get a new office or something? No, I didn't get a new office. It's the same old office, but when I put this new desk in, I did move it around quite a bit to make more room, I think, and also to be able to look out my beautiful view onto a very busy road. Uh, with my giant windows, <laughs> but also to get away from one of the said heaters because my chair was right up against a wall barred heater and my office is already hot as it is. So now I'm like trying to get away from them as much as possible. <laughs> Anyway, got the old desk out, the new desk is in. The new desk, I got the grommets, everything's good. It's all pretty, it's wonderful, it's beautiful, but my drawers are empty and unfortunately my old drawers are not so that's gonna be first thing today emptying out the old drawers throwing away stuff i haven't touched in a while and only putting in the things that i'm going to use in the new drawers i should probably get to it i don't know if you noticed but i'm kind of trying to stall because i really don't want to get it started <laughs> just do it Yesterday, you said today. Today, you said tomorrow. Just do it. <sighs> Let's do this. All right, things are gonna be a little bit different today. Mandy is very busy. I am also very busy. So I'm actually going to get our slot keys through the drive-through. We gotta save time. I need your card. I'm not paying for it. <laughs> Hi Andy, this is Mandy. How are you? From Kent Christian Center. We had you come out last week and check on our thing, our leak. Um, Andy's on line one, line one. Still trying to figure out this leak thing. Right now. Hey 
Hey, Javen, I have you a snack. I have a snack for you. Thank you. It's Nana's burnt toast. I dare you to eat it. Does it taste good? That's not cockpole. <laughs> Is it good? Yeah, sure. Do you need the rest of it? Yep. This has not gone exactly as planned today. <laughs> I've gotten a few drawers done and some paperwork filed away, some things organized here and there, but I've been downstairs a little bit with Pastor Les trying to figure out how to turn our boiler off. It is gushing from underneath the floor, out of the concrete, all over the place. And if we didn't turn off the heat, then Colby and Cassidy would be up all night long, every five minutes, wet vacuuming the, ba the basement floor, <laughs> like bailing out water, like in a sinking ship. So we just had to turn the heat off and they're gonna have to um, try and figure out some space heater situations or something. Anyways, I definitely wanna have all my desk drawers done. There isn't much more than that actually. I've done quite a bit, but I definitely wanna have that done before I head home this evening. I did want to share one of the coolest things about cleaning your office though, is all the hidden money you find. So far, I have found one dollar bill, 11 quarters, and a handful of pennies and loose change. <laughs> I'm rich! I'm rich, I say! <laughs> I do believe I have made a bigger mess than I started with. Is what it is. And I almost broke my cabinet. Actually, I popped the backing off the cabinet, so I gotta tack it back together before I try moving it again. So, and guess what? It's four o'clock, so it's time to go home. I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna say, hey, look at that. <laughs> Saved by the uh, dinner bell or something because I don't wanna mess with it. And I'm starting to get a little frustrated you know things don't quite go as you'd hope so might as well just call it good for now pick up where i left off tomorrow and it'll all be okay but we do have to head home because we've been trying to get rid of javen's bunk bed for weeks now and we keep doing offer up and every time we try to do it it doesn't work the person's kid is sick or the person can't make it because they're late for work or this person's mad because we promised it to somebody else already and blah 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 blah. we got a lot of hits just nobody with any follow-through but we have somebody tonight who's supposed to be coming at five o'clock or 5 30 to the house to check out the bunk bed Hopefully we can get that taken care of and get that rid of. And hopefully it's a much easier job dismantling than cleaning up my office. <laughs> oh, fun, fun, fun. I think I made a bigger mess than I started out with. That's how it usually happens. Yeah. This is like the third time I've gone through this stuff in my office. How was your day, Muffin? Good, I'm plugging along. Cool story, bro. <laughs> Posting the bullets on Facebook. I told them of our offer up drama for these bunk beds. Dude. So. You told the one lady that was like, she messaged me. Angry at you? Yes, and I said that we were waiting on someone and she's like, well, you told me that when I asked you a few days ago. And I said, well, her son was sick. We're still waiting. <laughs> like super nice and she's like well you must not want my money then yeah and i'm like some people get very angry on what? offer up i am saying i'm getting a little frustrated that we can't get rid of the dumb thing when we've had so many people say they want it anyway Jack missed you. 
Oh, he stopped. He was doing his. <laughs> Jack, are you happy to see Megan? Sophie. Let's see if the lady shows up for the bunk bed. Well. <gasps> <laughs> she didn't show. We're all home, but the lady is not. It, this is her second time, second chance, and she has not showed the up. The other lady had three chances. Oh. This lady had two. Last night, this lady said, does 5.30 work? And I said, yep, 5.30 works. And she says, okay, 5.30 it Maybe is. So, this bed has been up on offer up for and i've gotten a, a lot week, of requests. and we've gotten a lot of requests but nobody shows up mm, because i keep saying oh sorry someone's going to pick it up tonight so hopefully we'll get this out of there make it a lot easier to finish painting his room too so that would be good as for now this is javen's bed this couch <laughs> <laughs> She said, I can pick it up any time after 5 p.m. tomorrow. Yeah. One day. One day we'll get rid of this bunk bed situation. Maybe we'll just put it in Reagan's room. No. It was in <laughs> Reagan's room. That's where it started. Yeah, it, it was. Started. It started there. Well, I guess we'll try and figure out what we're going to do for dinner then. I'm already cooking. Ribs and pasta. Nice. Ribs and pasta <laughs> it is.